Are you a contractor or work in a skilled trade where you want to get more five-star reviews on your Google My Business page? Well, you're in the right spot. Let's get started. First off, let's talk about why you want more five-star reviews on your Google My Business page. More sales, more revenue, more money in your pockets. It will bring you more traffic, it will bring you more sales, it will bring you more revenue. It will make it so much easier for you as a business owner or your sales reps or your people giving estimates to convert if you implement the following process with your business. This is something I do with my business. I have multiple businesses and I'm going to give you examples today on my concrete business. Google is huge, 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 huge when it comes to bringing traffic to your business. When the normal person wants a contractor, they use someone that they've used before and they had a great experience with. But if they don't have anyone they used before, they ask their close friends or family, hey, do you know anyone good that can do this type of service? And if they don't know anybody, they're going to Google. That is why it is so important to have the best reviews in your skilled trade. It's going to make people reach out to you instead of your competition by implementing this process. You won't need to spend money on Facebook marketing and Google ads and uh, Home Advisor. You won't need to be listed on Angie's List. Don't spend any money on Yelp because you're getting all these free leads. First off, I am on Home Advisor. I don't recommend spending any money on Home Advisor. I'm actually on Home Advisor completely for free. I'll put a link to the video here on how you can get your business on Home Advisor completely for free. First off, it doesn't matter what type of business you're in, as long as you have your customers, phone numbers, this will work. Whether you need reviews on Facebook, on Google, on Yelp, on Home Advisor, on any review platform, this will work. The first thing you have to do to get reviews, this might sound crazy, you have to ask for them. Most people, most business owners, most practices don't. They just don't do it. There's, it's no one's job. It's not an implemented practice by a certain employee. They just don't do it. It is crazy how important it is to get five-star reviews and there's so many businesses that just leave this off the table which is costing them a lot of money. So let's fix this problem with your business. Let's talk about the ways you can ask somebody for a review. There are several ways. You can just ask. Once you're done seeing your customer or, hey, can you leave us a five-star review? And they will say, yes, well, I can leave you a five-star review. But do they actually leave you a five-star review? Not very often. You know why? You just gave them a homework assignment. You just made it not really difficult, but you gave them a homework assignment. They're going to have to try to search your business on what other platform you want them to leave your review on and find your business. That might not sound too hard, but that's something that most people don't want to do. And sometimes I've seen it before where they leave a review for a business that's not actually the business that you want them to leave a review for. The next way is those QR codes. They're pretty cool. And if someone wanted to leave a review, they could scan that thing with their phone, pull it up, leave a review, no problem. But did you ask for a review? If you didn't ask and you just put that on your shirt, you put it in your office, you put it on your truck, you put it on your business card, the chance that a customer just comes through your office and scans that thing and leaves you a five-star review without being asked, very, very low. Some companies create a bit link, which is a smaller link so they don't have to go to the full version. They got to type in something shorter. They might put it on their business card. This is going to make the customer have to type in that link that's just, you know, a bunch of numbers and letters. They don't want to do that. The best way to get reviews is to text your customers, text them a link to your reviews where all they have to do is click on it, hit five star, hit submit and be done. They don't have to go search your business. You just made it as easy as possible for them. That's what you need to do to get more reviews. But do you ask every single customer for a five-star review? No, you don't want to ask everybody because you might think everyone had a wonderful experience with your business, but there are some customers that maybe didn't have the best experience with your business. And that's not who you want to ask. 
I'm actually in the concrete business and when I ask for a review, I start off with a text message and I don't ask for a review first. No, 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 no. I use a keyboard shortcut where it just put CR. I'll show you how to do it at the end of the video if you want to save time and use this method to implement it for your business. But I send it over to him. I say, hey, it's Eric with ConcreteIndy.com. I leave my link for my website. That way they can potentially get another view on my website, which helps the Google algorithm to rank my business higher. Just wanted to check in and see if everything went okay with your concrete project. Wanted to see if you had a good experience as well as received a high quality product from Mike and the crew. Would love to know. Have a great day. Mike is the crew leader. He's on every single job, so they always know who Mike is. And what I just did was I just followed up with a client. I just followed up with a customer. Uh, that's unheard of in the contracting business. They collect the money and they run away and they're on the next job. Other types of businesses don't do this as well. Typically, they only reach back out to you if they got a problem, or they need to see you again, or maybe you reach out to them because you have a problem. You need something from them. When I send them this text message, we just grow closer with this customer. We've just showed our dedication, our reliability, our loyalty to this customer. That's something you can do in your business. Now there's two options once you send them this message. They either say, yes, I'm 100% happy, everything was wonderful, or they say, no, there was a potential issue, they left trash all over the yard. Well, there's two options. We want to focus on this group over here that was 100% happy. Once they're 100% happy, we're gonna send them this message. CR2, that's my shortcut to ask for a review. It looks personalized, but it's the uh, same thing for everybody. But they don't know that. And it says, that's wonderful. I was wondering if you'd be willing to leave a five-star review on our Google page. We just recently realized how important they are. This will allow us to continue to grow and reach more customers like yourself. I would be extremely grateful if you could leave us a five-star review. I made it super easy with the link. It only takes a second. If you could attach a picture as well, that would be excellent. Keep in mind the picture part there. When a picture is posted with a review, it gives it so much more credibility and pushes your business even higher. But what I just did is I sent them the link. They have no excuses for not just clicking that link, five-star review, submit, and done. I made it as easy as possible for them. I did not give them a homework assignment. You which most businesses do when they ask for a review. Now, I asked for a review on Google here because that's what I think is the most important. Facebook's also very important, but there are many platforms and there might be a different one that's more important for you. And that's how you can ask for reviews on that platform. I do not recommend saying, hey, can you leave a review on our Facebook page or Google page or Yelp page or HomeAdvisor page? I don't do that. That is way too needy. You don't want to seem extremely needy. Keep in mind that other group. We asked if they were happy. One said yes, we're 100% happy. The other group said no, we had an issue with something. I'm not asking these customers for a review. Oh my God! Why? Because they might leave a four star review. They might leave a three star review, two star, one star. Anything less than a five is bad in my book. I don't want anything less than a five. So if they had an issue and they could potentially give me a rating less than a five, I'm not asking for a review from that customer. This is the best way to ask for reviews. If your business currently doesn't ask for any reviews, most likely the only reviews you are getting are negative reviews because that's the customers that are extremely pissed off. Uh, we need to call the police. This is out of control. Oh, and want to get even. And if you're only collecting negative reviews, you're not going to be in business very long. So you need to make sure you implement this step to get the most five-star reviews for your business. Another thing that's very important about getting a lot of reviews is it makes it so much easier to sell your product or your service to your customers. For example, when I go sell concrete, I say, just want to let you know we're licensed and bonded and insured to pay workers' comp and taxes, as well as we have the best reviews on Facebook, Google, and HomeAdvisor of any concrete contractor. We do everything in-house. 
with our own crews, which allow us to provide the highest possible quality concrete service. Tell your customers why you are the best. Once you tell them we have the best reviews, that pretty much says it right there. I've had customers come back to me and say, hey, you guys weren't the cheapest, but you had the best reviews, so I went with you guys. Wonderful, now these reviews are really paying off. Now my prices can go up. Go to $5, $6, $7. Because my sense of credibility has just went up a notch. If you wanna send out reviews the same way I do with the keyboard shortcut, let's go through that really quick. All you need to do is go on your phone, we're gonna go under settings, we're gonna go under general, we're gonna go under keyboard, text replacements, we're gonna click the plus button in the top right corner, and we're gonna choose the phrase, whatever you wanna put. I will copy and paste in the description how I ask for my reviews. You can use those. You can tweak it a little bit so it's customized for your business, and you'll put that in the phrase, and then you'll put your shortcut, whatever you want. I use CR, and I use CR2, as my shortcuts. You can use anything, you just wanna make sure it's something you can remember. Now that you know how to get more five-star reviews for your business, let's get out there, let's implement these practices, let's grow our businesses, let's keep getting better, and don't forget, smash that like button if you learned anything, and subscribe, because we got more videos coming, folks. If you know, then you know.